All right, Mommy Tube, are you ready to see how fat you are? Yeah! Hey guys, welcome to the very first fitness video here on the channel. Uh, if you guys missed my announcement on our New Year's video, uh, this year I'm gonna be competing in my first bodybuilding competition in over 20 years. I competed as a teen and now I'm gonna be competing as a masters which is uh, 40 and up. So basically I'm going from being one of the youngest people in the show to one of the oldest. Today since I'm gonna be starting my dieting I thought it would be a good idea to get a starting point. So I'm gonna be going in and getting a DEXA scan and what a DEXA scan does is measures your body composition. So uh, if you step on the scale and you get a weight, it's not really helpful in knowing your overall body composition. Uh, your body is made up of different things like fat, water, muscle, bone. And you don't really know how much of each one when you step on the scale. So the DEXA scan is basically like an x-ray and it's gonna tell you exactly how much of your body is what. Oh yeah, mommy tube is coming too. Here she's back there, see? She's got her workout gear on. Uh, we're gonna be doing some other tests as well. You can't eat anything for five hours before, so we haven't had breakfast yet, uh, so we're a little hangry. So I haven't measured my body fat since I was in high school, and they use these calipers to do a skin fold test, which isn't really that accurate. Back in high school, I was probably around 14%. My guesstimate is to be around maybe 16 or 17. For a guy my age, usually under 20% is considered healthy or ideal. For bodybuilding, you probably have to be under 10%. All right, Mommy Tube, are you ready to see how fat you are? Yeah! I'm really hungry. No caffeine in the morning. Yeah, no caffeine, I'm dying. You should try Zumba sometime, that's that's your goal. Daddy yeah. Tube. Not so much. Some of those Zumba moves, I don't know. Oh, you just gotta go for it. Okay, here we are, Dexa Fit. Here's the machine. Okay, so now it's my turn for the scan. Okay, we're doing a 3D body scan. I failed to detect weight from the turntable. It didn't detect my weight? Oh no. What do I do? Oh, I broke the machine. Failed to detect weight from the turntable. MT's breaking the equipment. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm putting my clothes back on. Our goal is to get you a complete exhaustion. When you get to give me that sign, that means I'm going as hard as I can. I don't have much left. That's what that means. All right, so here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, now that will be the speed the whole time. Just a nice little jog in the park. About 10 seconds, it's going to go up again, and then I'll check in with you. Incline always makes it harder there. Okay, let's do a check in right there. I'll let you know when I have a valid view of two, and then I want you to go as long as you can after that. Again, it's all up to you. When you're done, you grab those handles, you go to the side. He's still, still powering on. Come on, these guys want to go to all lunch. Right. <laughs> oh, nice job. Okay, we're going to have Woo. you now cool down for two minutes, okay? Tired? <laughs> Good, we got him tired. I yeah. don't think I can do that for five minutes. You okay? 
Get a good seal, make sure you put the palm over the hole there. <laughs> That's the speed right there. Okay, so that 10 seconds is going to go up 2.5. Doing great. Then looking good. Look at that. See how soon just jumped? There you go. All right. <laughs> You did a good job. Okay guys, we are done with our fitness test. Are you tired? <laughs> yes. I am hungry. We'll go over our results later, but right now we need to eat something. Let's get some calories. Yeah. Here's lunch right here. Mm. What's the healthy choice? Okay, remember this is breakfast and lunch today, so we gotta eat the calories. Gotta make up for not eating it breakfast. Spicy. Mm. Spicy. Me okay, here's my lunch. Hey, <laughs> I didn't get any broccoli. I love broccoli. I should have got broccoli. Kung Pao chicken. Eat your veggies. Ooh, that was good. That was so good. It's my fortune. One of the best things to do sometimes is simply to beat. Take risks. You will land softly. Okay, looks like we're going skydiving again. Uh, nope. Bungee jump. Nope. Okay guys, we are back home before Mommy Tube goes and picks the kids up from school. We have some yeah. results here. It's quite interesting. Um, definitely was shocked about a couple of them. Yeah, so they gave us a bunch of printouts here. Um, we also have an app that everything is listed on. Mm -hmm. Let's start off with uh, body fat. So my prediction, I thought my body <laughs> fat was gonna be somewhere around the 15 or 16%. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns out, that my body fat percentage is 19%. Woo! So a little higher than I thought. It just means I have to work a little bit harder, I think. I mean, I feel pretty lean, but I had no idea how much body fat I had. And I was very shocked at how much I have compared to my overall weight. It's more well, than you. Yeah, well for women, it's you're gonna have a little bit more just because you have a lot, a lot more fat tissue on your body. Oh. That's not fair. Okay, so mine was total body fat was 25.3. 25.3. So more than you. It was more than mine. Mine was but. in the ideal range for men of my age. Uh, yours was, I think, just slightly above ideal, but still in healthy range. Uh, it also shows you like where the fat is on your body. Yeah. Um, mine was mainly around the midsection here. That's where men get it, like right in the gut. Mine was definitely not here so much, but my butt and like hip area. So they call that android fat, which is like yeah. right here, right. and uh, gynoid. Yeah, so my is gynoid lower, is big. Lower. I was 199 pounds, 19% body fat. So that meant I had 37.8 pounds of fat. Like if you took all the fat out of my body and put it on a scale, it would be 37.8 pounds. That's like a little kid weight. Like <laughs> if you took a kid out of your body, that's all. Yeah, but the thing is, guys, you need fat in your body to function, to live. Yeah. So don't think that you have to get rid of all the fat. If you did, you'd be dead. Uh, you need fat to live. I weighed in at 105.3 pounds. 25.3% of that was body, was fat. Yeah, so, so you had a total that fat. That shocked me. Fat but, tissue was what? 26.7 pounds of fat. Um, there was a 3D scan that they do. When you stand on this turntable, and it basically takes a 3D image of you. She was supposed to do it first. She went in, something was wrong, so I stepped on it, yeah. and it worked fine. And then they did something, they said, okay, it's gonna work. She went in again. Didn't no. work. Broke the machine. Anyway, it spits out this image of you, a little figure, and you can like spin it around and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool because I don't really get to see myself from the back. So yeah, <laughs> it, it was. Yeah, it was cool. It's a good starting point. We have the starting point. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll do another DEXA scan in a few months, and we'll see kind of Ugh, we where do we're that at. Again. Because we did the resting metabolic rate, which was to see how many calories we burned at rest. So this is basically, if you were to just lie in bed all day, 
How many calories would you burn? They stuck a big mask on our yeah, face. Yeah, this like big old mask that and, you breathe into. Yeah. It's airtight and it just records your breath that you're breathing out. It was very hard because they said, do not fall asleep. And it was dark <laughs> in there. They had this really relaxing music playing. And I know I dozed off a second or two. So I burn 1,307 calories sitting down doing that. Doing nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. All I right. think I'll do that more often. I burned 2,159 calories. That's a lot more. Well, that's because you're bigger. Yeah, you're like half the size of me and you don't have as much muscle. So if you have a lot of lean muscle mass, it takes a lot more calories to actually move. Right, um, so like you just, moving your arm. Just bringing my arm up, I burn a lot more calories than when she it's raises so her skeleton arm up. <laughs> so the more lean muscle mass you have, the more mm -hmm. calories you're gonna burn. So that's why if you're trying to lose weight, it's a good idea to do some resistance training. Weight is not really a good measure of, of health, mm -hmm. um, just because muscle right. weighs a lot more than fat does. Like when I used to play <laughs> like Wii Fit, you know, where you step on the thing, and it tells you, it, oh, makes, yeah. it makes like a little figure of you. Uh, <laughs> I, I used to this. step on it and they used to like make me like really chubby. Because Wait, wouldn't it say, wouldn't it say, would one of you please get off? I mean, oh, but, no, no, no. That was a scale we had growing up. My mom and dad had a scale that talked to us. My dad got on there, would one of you please step off the scale? <laughs> so mean. I don't think they make scales like that anymore because that would be depressing. Yeah, and wrong. A body shaming scale. That's what it was. <laughs> so it's not about losing weight, it's about burning fat. All you need to do is eat at a caloric deficit. You have calories. to eat fewer calories than you are actually needing uh, in that day. If you eat at a caloric deficit but you're not eating the right kind of calories, you could be losing muscle mass. So you'll lose weight, but you'll also lose muscle tissue. So what should we eat to so lose weight? So in order to keep the muscle mass, you need to eat more protein opposed to carbs yeah. and uh, Sugar. fat. Sugar. Oh, that's my favorite. Bread. Yeah. She's like Oprah, she likes bread. I like bread. Evan and loves carbs. I will carbs. never, never stop eating it. <laughs> I don't care. And finally, we did uh, VO2 max. So the VO2 max test was to measure your cardiovascular fitness. I don't do much cardio at the gym. It's kind of yeah. counterproductive when you're trying to build muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. However, it, it does um, burn calories. Strong. Yeah, it keeps your heart strong. It burns calories. And that's why you need to come to it Zumba is good with for me. You. Comment down that. below if you want to see Daddy Tube do Zumba with me. I do enough uh, Jill's TikTok. So for do? this one, they stick that same mask that we yeah. did the other test on, except this time you're running on a treadmill, and like every so often the treadmill would just go up, incline. Yeah. Uh, they have it at like on a level five. I think I ran for six minutes. Yeah, but they said you were like just steps away from being in that excellent. I range. know. Yeah. So yours was thirty-six point two. Almost superior. No, wow. I am excellent. Oh, you are excellent. See, I'm excellent rating. So I was almost <laughs> superior. But well, you were superior to me in this case. Yeah, mine was kind of on the other side of the spectrum. Uh, I think I stayed on for like eight something. Minutes? Yeah. Yeah, you went past, way past the time. However, I was only in the fair. I think that, I was in fair. It blows my mind because you were like. So I was like dying, but I was like trying to power through it. Yeah. Um, it said my VO2 max was 35.3. Uh, which is fair for a male of my age. I wasn't even good there. Are you sad? It's a little frowny, actually. Oh, it's you got a like frowny a, face. I think it's like a C. A C you minus. You got a C minus? So that was it. That was a good starting point. We'll do the test again, kind of see where we end up in a few months. Make sure to tune in next time because on the next video, I'm going to be taking Evan to the gym for the first time. <laughs> Uh, he's he's never lifted funny. a weight in his life, but we're gonna try and get him on some kind of program and uh, activate his muscles. Yes. Right now, he's got the keyboard finger muscles he has from beautiful playing games. Fingers. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.